Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can easily retain skin texture if at all you're having issues or struggling with retaining skin texture every single time you're trying to retouch your images using frequency passion. So this is going to be a very easy way of how you can easily retain skin texture every single time you're applying frequency separation as a skin retouching technique in photoshop and if at all this is what you have always wanted to learn or if at all you have been struggling with this in photoshop or in your retouching i request you hit the, the like button on this video because it's going to help youtube push and recommend this video to many people out there and it is also going to help the channel grow in the long run so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to come to photoshop and i'm using photoshop 2020 and you can see before and after of what you're going to be achieving you can see before after before after and the skin texture is still left intact within this very image so i'm just going to delete this and i show you how to go about that or how you can easily retain the skin texture so right now what you have to understand we're going to be using frequency separation and i want to go from the very base of frequency separation so like we know frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and also the low frequency layer so usually if at all you don't understand this we're just going to create these two layers i'm just going to go through the process and later on if at all you have the action for frequency separation i'll be finding you later on as the tutorial is going along so i'm just going to press ctrl or command j twice and we're going to name these two low frequency and we're going to name the up layer to high frequency so after you have done this we're just going to come hide this and select the low frequency layer and simply come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur so this is the most important step when it comes to retaining skin texture so i just want to get your maximum attention so like i said the most important step for retaining skin texture is this first step so it is at this step when you determine the amount of textures you want to blur out or to eliminate from the low frequency layer which, which contains the colors so you're just going to come and use these tools so you have to zoom in and you look for an area that seems to have more skin texture than the rest of the skin and use that as a reference point so the area that contains that or that high amount of skin texture or a prominent skin texture detail is going to be the one that is going to, to determine rather the amount of skin texture we are going to be eliminating from this step but also ending up with in the final image so this is the area that we want to use as a reference because it has or it contains more skin texture than the rest of the skin if at all you have to move around so move to the radius or select the radius pointer and start dragging it up so you drag it up as you're releasing so you left click and hold down and start dragging it up so our aim is to stop at the point when these textures are just starting to disappear from this very image so we're going to click again and continue moving so like i said we're going to stop at the point when these textures are just starting to disappear so seven that is when my textures for this very image are just starting to disappear from this very image so you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear you don't have to take it all the way up until the image is blurry stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from uh, this very image so you shouldn't cram the radius because your images may be having a different level of skin details sharpness or it may have been taken using a different camera with a different or a varying megapixel count so i'm just going to come and click ok so you stop at the point when you just start to close out on the textures after moving the radius slider under the gaussian blur and if i told you you have the action it is going to stop at this very point so you just put in the value so if i told you use actions for retouching 
just move the radius up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on the skin textures and simply click ok and the action is going to continue running but if at all you don't have the action let's proceed so just come to the high frequency line now select it and now activate it by clicking on the eye icon simply come to image and come to apply image so when you come to apply image select the low frequency layer and now the channel has to be rgb and since this is a 16 bit i'm just going to simply invert this with a blend mode of add opacity and the flat hundred opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale is to and offset zero this is for a 16 bit for an 8 bit image you have to choose a blend mode of subtract opacity at 100 percent the scale is to offset 128 make sure invert is not turned on and you see the textures on this gray kind of layer so if at all you're using a 16 bit image like i do simply select the low frequency layer channel is rgb blending is going to be add invert turned on the scale is to and offset zero and click ok so the textures are going to appear on this gray kind of layer change the blend mode the blend mode rather from normal all the way down to linear light and you get back the image that it was meant to be so select both layers and put them in a group by pressing ctrl g command g on the keyboard and you can rename that to frequency separation then if at all you don't know how to use the mixer brush tool simply open up the group and simply hide the high frequency layer so that you deal with only colors so select the low frequency layer and simply come and get the mixer brush tool and i have so many videos about this so make sure the hardness is zero make sure clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean clean brush after each and every stroke has been selected the weight is 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100 percent and also make sure sample orders is not checked because only what work with information in the color layer which is the low frequency layer and after doing that simply increase on the size of the missile brush by using the the box brackets on the keyboard then if at all your missile brush tool is showing this plus icon press the caps lock key so after that you're just going to simply left click and hold down and start mixing the colors that are looking alike so you release if at all you're working on a different color and left click and hold down and you move your cursor in a given direction depending on the area you're trying to work on in your image or in your photo but as you're doing this technique you may notice that sometimes it may turn out to look a little bit plastic and i'm going to show you how you can easily refine that later on so just mix the areas using the mr brush tool so make sure you don't use a very big size because that is going to distort or change the original shape of the model's facial uh, structure or the skin structure. So I'm just going to continue. So mix colors that are looking alike. So I'm just going to turn on the texture layer and you can see that we still have the textures in this very image. That is the advantage of turning off the texture layer so that we are not distracted by the texture information as you are retouching the image. So you can see before after before after and the textures are still intact so after using the mr brush tool you can opt for the lasso tool technique to refine the areas you may have missed out when using the mixer brush tool so select the lasso tool new selection is activated right here or selected and the feathering is 22 pixels because we want the edges of the selection to be as smooth as possible so after that simply select on the skin area and we come to filter and come back to Gaussian blur right here. Filter blur, come to Gaussian blur. And simply multiply this radius by 3. So the radius used for your frequency separation, multiply it by 3. And type in that value. So 7 by 3 is 21. So I'll just type in 21. And that is going to refine or fine tune the areas I may have missed out when I was using my missile brush tool on this very image. And you can see right now the textures have been left intact within this very image but you have also fine-tuned the skin tones or skin castle this is the before after before after so you can proceed and remove the blemishes from your image after retouching the skin by selecting the high frequency layer and choosing whichever tool to remove the blemishes or skin imperfections from your image so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and seeing yet more amazing trials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.